know how to talk about the potential of Dwayne Hendricks has, but I want to hear it from a guy who knows a little bit about the defensive line play. Tell me about Dwayne. Dwayne Hendricks has an excellent upside because he has an excellent work ethic. He's fighting through this heat. He's pushing himself. Hasn't asked out of anything. And I'm excited to see where he'll be when we when we tee it off this season. What do you think he'll be? I think he'll be a key contributor for us. What does he bring? You know that maybe other guys don't have, or just what? What are what are some of his strengths? What does he do well in the well, field? Not that he brings anything that other guys don't have. He just brings it every day, all day. If that makes sense. Uh, not that he's uh, not that he's a. Uh, where we want him to be, I want to be clear about that. There's room for improvement, and, it, and, and it's our job to get the improvement there, to get the improvement out of him, to get him as good as he can be. But he is progressing, and he is getting better. Give me an example of his work ethic. I mean, in the off season, you know, I, I come in on a random day, and he's in there watching film. During camp, I get to work. I get to work early in the morning. He's sitting in, in, in the meeting room watching film. Uh, he's trying to do the things, you know, to help him get better. Uh, you know, like I said, he's a, he's a raw kid. hadn't played a whole lot of football, but he has some upside. To him. Uh, put that attitude with the guy with his athletic ability. Yeah. Could have something special. Well, this is what I say. I don't want to put that pressure on him. I want him to work every day, improve every day, and we'll see where where he is when it's all said and done. And that could be a good place. How's the move to uh, defensive tackle working for Shakir? Shakir's doing a good job for us. Uh, another kid that's put on a considerable amount of weight without losing any athleticism. And uh, key for us is to just get him out here in this hot sun, let him work and train and get used to carrying that extra cargo he has. Actually, we call it horsepower, it's not cargo. With um, you know, with whatever he does well, do you feel like he has a chance to be more productive at this position than maybe he was last year? I expect big things from him. I expect him to step up and be a leader on our defense. See, he gain more weight, or is he a good weight right now? Hey, I want him to eat, lift, and run. <laughs> you know, and we'll see where that takes him. Just play hard, eat good, and we'll see where that takes him. He's at a good weight right now. And we'll just see how he performs that and how he cares and if he needs to put more on or not. About 290 right now? I would guess 295. How are the freshman D tackles looking these first few days? You know, their eyes are kind of wide open right now. Uh, they're, getting, they're getting some opportunities to get out there and compete. Uh, I'm excited about them when you think long term. I think they're good athletes and they're good kids. Didn't have an issue out of any of them. So, you know, they went to class, they did their work, and, and they exhibited the character that we want around here. When you get new guys uh, like that all in the D line, how much work physically uh, needs to be done you know, for guys who are just come out of high school, who have been through college, or weight training? Well, our, our, our guys, our, our strength and conditioning guys did a great job with them with the limited amount of time that they had them in the summer. And so they're out there and they're, they're to a point where they're competitive, I mean. And uh, I just expect them to improve more and get bigger and stronger and faster as we go through the process. Uh, it, it's a challenge physically because last year you was playing against kids from gym class. This year you're playing against guys that are going to be first round draft picks. Next year. So, yeah, so it's a challenge. And, uh, you know, but I, I, we're, we're going to groom them and we're going to do everything we can, can to get them ready. What does Tyreek need to do to kind of finish strong his last year? Tyreek needs to do what Tyreek is capable of. That'll be impressive if he does it all the time.